Hello, welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. Today I'm going to be doing a recap of my 2020 year. Let's get into it. So, honestly, there's a lot of things that happened this year that I don't really remember. Really nice to me during this video. Roxy, you want to snuggle too? Hey, done. Lay down, Rox. No. My lap's full. You guys. I <laughs> got the whole clan here. Oh. I got Miss Roxanne. Then I got Miss Gracie Poo. Not to last very long. Alright, so I don't really remember all the little things that happened this year, so I'm just going to go through my photos and just scroll through starting in January. Roxy, that's coffee. Do you regret drinking that? Lay down. I'm just trying to film a video, guys. Can you lay down? Alright, so December 31st of 2019 was actually my last day at the hotel. I worked at um, a Marriott hotel that was brand new. I really liked my job, but the hotel wasn't very busy and my managers were not... They were never around, so like, I didn't have the authority to do many things because I was just a front desk associate and I'd have to call them often and I wasn't a huge fan of how many creepy people there are in the world so starting on January 1st we had a party at Evan's house and there's a picture of me and him in the mirror on New Year's oh we had baby Roxy I'm gonna insert a couple cute photos of her, her and Gracie. Hi. I don't have any treats. Oh. <laughs> January third, I started my first day at my new work, where my dad works currently. So I'll insert that picture of my desk that I decorated. Let's see. I also went to my friend Piper's birthday party. And sadly this year I don't think we'll be able to see each other for her 21st birthday. But yeah, it was fun last year. We went to Olive Garden. And then... This was when... Uh, Evan was going to Michigan for work for a week at a time, like every other week. So I would be staying at the townhouse with Gracie Poo oh. and baby Roxy because... What's on your head? You have a scratch on your head. Did you know that? I had to spend the night with baby Roxy um, because she, her owner worked the night shift. So I didn't mind though. She was just a huge snuggler. Okay. Well... And then I started posting TikToks more frequently. I mean, not not super frequently, but you get the point. I started posting in general. And then we started to uh, prepare the townhouse to sell it and to move. Oh yeah, so we had to clean up the garage. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like before and then after the one day. Of just decluttering, basically. Um, 
I was involved with QC Dance in January. February um, was a rough month for me. It was more towards the end of February, but Grace did turn one on Valentine's Day. And um, my old dance teacher, I guess you could call her, she's the owner, she was the owner of QC Dance. She passed away um, in February and that was very rough. Um, I'll post a couple of my favorite photos of us now. In March, we had to empty out the townhouse. <laughs> the whole moving process was just hectic. They had to move their stuff out of the townhouse into a storage locker. And then they were moving like the stuff they needed in those three weeks that they were living in my parents' basement. So we moved that into my parents' basement. Then we had to deep clean the townhouse. So we deep cleaned. Um, I already posted a video on that. Um, we're getting closer to COVID here. I went out to Black Coffee Waffle Bar with my friend. Don't have any cute photos of that. I was really getting into makeup because I didn't have much time. I was working from home by this time in March. March 27th, we moved into our new house, which is where we currently are. I'll insert some photos from that day. It was very hectic. We did a lot of painting that weekend, a lot of unpacking. Getting the Wi-Fi figured out. Um, April. Let's see what happened in April. I did some more makeup. I got bangs. That was a bad decision. That's really all that happened in April. I got bangs. I'll insert some photos. They were cute, but they were just not what I was hoping for. In May, I got my kitten Sky. She is adorable. She still is a little cutie pie. I'm so happy I decided to get her. I'll insert photos of baby Sky. I also dyed my hair pink the day I got her. So I got a kitten and then dyed my hair pink and had bangs. So I was just going a little crazy in quarantine, I guess. Um, we put down some new sod in our yard, not really eventful. We went to see a waterfall, the waterfall in Hudson, Willow River State Park, I'll insert photos here. June was my birthday month, I also did a couple makeup looks. Did a couple of birthday shoots. I'll insert some photos here. I went to my friend Allie's cabin for my birthday and her birthday weekend as well. That was fun. I got a really bad bruise from being lifted onto a boat from the lake. I slammed my leg into the boat and I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like like two days after I got home. It was bad. It was the biggest bruise I ever had in my life. July, anything eventful? I went to QC a couple times. We had a baseball tournament for Evan. Well, he was doing softball in July. I was working, nothing special. Oh, we went to my grandparents' house in Wisconsin for the week. It was super nice. It was Grace's first vacation. So first time going in a pool. By the end of it, she didn't want to leave the pool and every time I let her outside, she would run and jump in the pool. So I had to go get her. That, oh, that was such a fun vacation. 
August, we painted and re-sanded our kitchen island. Did some more painting of the doors. Went to a couple car shows outside. Oh, my parents got little Jessie. Um, we found her on Craigslist, I think. And she's just a cutie pie. I'll insert photos here of baby Jessie. She was adorable. I dyed my hair from the ombre to just brown. We had family photos for Evan's family. Super cute photos. I'll insert them here. In September, we did the batten and board wall in our guest bedroom. Ended up really well. What do you hear? This is what I deal with. Are you done? No. I'll wait for you to be done. In September, we started our laundry room renovation. There'll be a full video going up on that. We just finished it a week ago. Um, I started posting TikToks more frequently. In October, I did a couple, well, I did one. One Halloween look. I dyed my hair like dark brown, I guess you could say. All one color dark brown. Went to an apple orchard. It snowed. Which is sad because right now we have like no snow on the ground and it's like four days before Christmas, so fantastic. Oh, we got Halloween costumes for the first time as a couple with Grace. We are ringmasters. Um, super cute. I'll insert those photos here. We went to... We went to the Boundary Waters for the first time. Neither of us have really been past Duluth before. So we hit a bunch of places. Silver Bay was a really cool, um, um, yeah, the lookout in Silver Bay was super cute. We went to a bunch of parks. Grace loved it. I also got to see the, um, I don't, I don't remember what it was called, Grand Portage, um, which is like a hiking spot right by the border. It's like the last stop by the border. So we got to see Canada, which was cool, even though we're not allowed in Canada right now. But yeah, I definitely want to go there in the summertime when it's warmer outside. Um, and then Sky got fixed in October as well. November, we put up Christmas lights. I actually started decorating for Christmas on November 10th. Um, I really like Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. I don't really get why people get so upset that we aren't waiting for Thanksgiving because I'm not putting that much work into decorating for Christmas if I'm just going to take it down a month later. So I'll insert some photos here of Christmas decorations. I did a couple makeup looks. I did a duet practice at QC with my cousin and her duet partner. And everything that's happened in December so far. I went snowboarding for the first time. Um, I'm definitely going to go ice skating this month. And that's about it. 2020 has definitely been a rough year for a ton of people. Not just because of COVID, but COVID has caused a lot of pain on people's side. I have been fortunate enough where COVID didn't really change my life. I wasn't really going out to parties or socializing. I didn't really have many friends that I saw. The only thing COVID really changed was that I work from home now. 
um, but I was only in office for two months, so I wasn't super used to it. But I am very fortunate that COVID has not affected me personally in a lot of negative ways this year. So I did accomplish a couple of things this year for my goals and I did set more goals for 2021. I can't wait for 2021. I graduate at the end of 2021 college. I graduate college and then I also turn 21 in June and we have a family trip to Duck, North Carolina in June. So I got a couple of things to look forward to. So thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 17. I hope you enjoyed. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the rest of Vlogmas. Peace out. We're doing barking again. Peace out.